watching NCAA Women's Basketball on the ACC Network Extra. It's senior day here in the KFC Yum Center. Yes, some tears being shed by some Cardinals, but we have a top 10 matchup tonight. It's number four, Louisville, taking on number 10, North Carolina State. It's the ACC on ESPN, and we're glad to be with you on this senior night here for a special night for a lot of folks, including us, along with Sarah White. I'm Don Russell. Courtney Walton is our sideline reporter. It is always special. You were a coach. You played. Senior night is always special. Going to be really big here tonight. Well, for the home team, it's always about handling emotions. And then when you have a top 10 matchup like this with so much on the line, both teams are going to be excited for the play. We take a look at the ACC standings. Notre Dame in the number one spot, up half a game over the Louisville Cardinals, and NC State right behind with just those three losses on the season and three conference losses. And when you talk about that, never in conference history has there really not been able to time to set everything in order with a week left in the season. That's how tight it's been. Well, and if you're a coach, you're watching the game scores, but you're taking it one game at a time, and you're letting your team know how important every possession is this time of year. And there you see the head coaches, Jeff Walls and Wes Moore. And Sarah, they have something quite in common. They're both in the top 15 for Naismith Coach of the Year. Both done a terrific job. Very well-deserved honor for both of these coaches, and they will have their team prepared this evening. No doubt about it. Of course, Wes Moore also did a terrific job at the University of Tennessee Chattanooga, as they call it, UTC. And matter of fact, we found out he's flying back to Chattanooga to be inducted into the UTC Hall of Fame and quite an honor for him and the job he's done at NC State. Jeff Wall said he sees a lot in NC State where Louisville was just a couple of years ago. Yeah, Wes Moore has done a tremendous job with this program, has them positioned to take the next step. He's looking for career wins, 695 this evening. Uh, kudos to him for both his honors at Chattanooga and being named a Naismith Coach of the Year candidate. And Jeff Walls, we just can't say enough good things about him and what he's done with this Louisville program. The all-time winningest coach, taking the team to three Final Fours. And Louisville controls the opening tip, and Carter will balance the floor, and he'll take on the point of the offense as the Cardinals start a little weave. Durr with the first shot of the game off the back of the iron. Rebound fought for, and there was contact. And I think they're going to call a foul. We'll take a look at the uh, Louisville Cardinals starting lineup. And it's been pretty much the same, Sarah. Of course, you can add Dana Evans as the number six starter, I think Jeff would call him. But that's the starting five for the Cards. Yeah, tremendous starting five. But Louisville has some depth off the bench. Unlike NC State, they have been decimated by knee injuries, have lost three starters this season to knee injuries, one before the season even started. And then three more players have gone out. Carter in traffic gets it out to Jasmine Jones. The foul, by the way, was on Leslie. This one rolls off the iron, and NC State will have its first offensive possession of the night. And that's the starters for the Wolfpack. Well, NC State is led by Kiera Leslie. She is an all-around player for them. Leading scorer, second leading rebounder, best defender on the team. And there she makes the pass inside to Kinane. Nice finish by the post player. Yeah, Leslie, a graduate transfer from Maryland. So she has some good stock. Durr's three, and she buries it on senior day. Won so many times, especially against ranked opponents, as Louisville throws some full court pressure on the Wolfpack. Have we seen Asia Durr look to get started early on the offense? Oh, nice feed again. Good catch mainly, and then finished by Kunane again. She did a great job just finding that ball. Yeah, nice job by the post player. Good hands. Good unselfish play by the Wolfpack. Went from a, a good shot opportunity to an even better one with Kunane with the finish in the paint. How about Durr again? This one rattles around and comes out. Back to Asia, she'll try again. How about three for a dollar? Well, Wes Moore talked about not giving up offensive rebounding opportunities to the Cardinals. They really had to limit Louisville's possessions. Nice job by the Cardinals, finished by Durr. Boy, what a strong move to the basket by Leslie. And it'll be a backcourt foul, I think, on NC State. You know, one thing when you talk about NC State, 
we'll take a look at the basket inside or outside by Asia. The offensive rebound, that's a great opportunity to look for a three-pointer, and Asia Durr didn't get the first one to go, but makes NC State pay with the second. And the Cardinals make a, a substitution as Dana Evans, number one with the control of the ball. She is actually the second leading scorer and assist leader. Good give and go in the corner, fearing fires. Good ball movement by Louisville on that possession, and now the pressure. And that baseline jump shot is such a tough shot to make, but Sam Fearing has really been practicing from that spot on the floor. And that's going to be a turnover. Again, Evans was taking on Coning. Those two number ones are going to go at it tonight as you see Coach Walls talk to his talented sophomore. We see the finish there by Sam Fearing. The reason that baseline shot is so difficult is because you don't have the backboard to help you gauge distance. Oh, Dana Evans said it was touched, but oh, that's very unusual for her. She's been red hot from the perimeter shooting. There's a steal by Durr, puts it up over some pressure, and Asia's off to a rocketing start here in a 10 to four start for Louisville over NC State. And the Cardinals did such a great job with that full court pressure and coming up with those kind of turnovers against Boston College on Sunday. They picked up where they left off last afternoon. Boy, a nice move by D.D. Rogers, the senior out of Charlotte. She's been a real key after all the injuries that NC State has gone through. That was a terrific play. Well, NC State is going to look to push tempo. They are a defensive-minded team, but they are going to try to score in transition. Fearing great feed over to, Do to Donovan. Bianca finishes it, but what a terrific assist. Dunham and Fearing play so well together. They are both tremendous passers, unselfish, look for one another on the court. UofL having four assists on five field goals early on. That shows you're really moving the ball well. This one off the iron, and now Evans brings it up on the dribble. Passes across the line. Durr lets it go! Oh, she's on fire here in the first quarter. And NC State has got to know where Asia Durr is in transition. They cannot allow her easy looks like that. Well, Wes Moore is not going to waste any time. Timeout on the floor, and Asia's letting them go. A great start for the Louisville Cardinals here against NC State. Let's welcome in the third member of our telecast team, 
Courtney Walton, take it away, girl. It's senior night, and not only is the bottom bowl filled with 12,000 people, but Asia Durr is on fire. She's hit four threes, which is why they're they're up against NC State. Now this is this has a lot riding on this game. NC State has three losses on the year, and they haven't. The only game they lost in the season started in February. So this is going to go back and forth. Tell us a little bit about what Asia's mentality must be coming in tonight's senior game night, Courtney. I think she can hear you. I think we lost Courtney, but you know, it is so important. And you saw both Erica Carter and Sam Fearing with the tears. Mm -hmm. Asia Durr came out on the court for senior night celebration with a smile on her face. And she has continued to smile throughout the early stages of this ball game. Oh, and Coach Wallace spoke so affectionately for all about all three seniors at a long press conference yesterday that was really enjoyable. We'll have some things that he said about each one individually. Right now, Koning trying to get things going inside. That's a tough shot by Rogers under pressure. I mean, Louisville really getting after the D. Both teams are really at this point. Well, these are two tremendous defensive teams as Durr is open again and hits her fourth three-pointer of the ball game. And there's still five and a half minutes left to play in the first quarter. She has 14 of the 18 points here well, in the first quarter. Time and time again, we have seen Asia Durr step up in big games. And for Durr, a senior, none is bigger than her final regular season home game. 10 to two run going for the Cardinals right now. And now we have a whistle. Kylie Shook, I think, the checked into the game is gonna pick up the personal foul. Kylie, of course, the 6'4 junior forward out of Colorado Springs. Well, that was a tough matchup for Shook against the six-foot Kiara Leslie. Crutchfield is checked into the lineup. And depth will be an issue for the Wolfpack. They have a very talented starting five, but can't go very deep into the bench due to those knee injuries we talked about. Yeah, and Kinane got a really good look at that one. Shook on on the wing. High pick set, but Jones can't use it. And now Dana Evans will balance the floor. Asia Durr running back from one side to the other. Down low it goes to Furing. And she put that up so quickly, Rogers could do nothing but foul. Well, great patience by the Cardinals. Good ball movement. And it is difficult to defend the Louisville Cardinals because they have so many scoring threats. Rogers gets the foul, her second, and there's Sam Turing. Sam hitting 82% of her free throws. You know, she's the player that Jeff said as a young player was really struggling, but he said, you know, we're a lot alike. We're both bullheaded. We're both challenging. And that's how they really developed the relationship. They both challenged each other and it worked out. Well, Sam Fearing plays with a little bit of a chip on her shoulder, but that's a big part of her toughness. She is a tremendous competitor. First field goal in four minutes and 15 seconds by the Wolfpack. Shook inside. That's money every time there. Well, you cannot allow a post player to catch the ball that deep in the paint. Great job by Shook establishing position and finishing around the rim. 21 to six Louisville here in the first quarter. Crutch field, dribble drive, puts it up, no rebound, Durr, and she wants to run. Here comes Asia on the move. Furing's three. Yes! And she sure got the crowd excited with that shot. Furing has done a much better job this season, picking and choosing when she takes those three-point opportunities. And the Cardinals are cooking right now. Yulevels hit six of their last six tries. Three of them have been beyond the arc. The and Cardinals Asia Durr has 14, I'm sorry. The Cardinals are definitely playing to win an ACC championship this evening. And Asia gets the rebound, brings it up. Why not again? And that's just a mental error as you see Coach Westmore take a timeout to talk to his team. 
here at the KFC Young Center. Asia Dewar has 17 first quarter points. Well, just a little bit of a mental error in transition. They did not pick up Dewar, and you cannot lose her. You've got to know where she is. She is just on fire this evening. The Cardinals on a 17 to nothing run, the last 336 of this ball game. Wow. And the crowd on its feet. Seems like it was just a couple of games ago when Asia didn't score a point in the first quarter. And she's got 17 on six out of eight, five out of six threes. And Jeff was telling me she was a young, shy girl when she came here and actually said she stuttered a little bit. And Jeff said, I took care of that. He said, just listen to me. You'll sound great. <laughs> Isn't that neat? There's a good dribble drive. The ball doesn't go in. But Wes Moore has to wonder what the heck has happened here in the first seven minutes almost in the first quarter. Well, there have been a couple defensive lapses, but overall, NC State has played well, but the Louisville Cardinals are in rarefied air this evening with their level of play. The question will be, can they maintain this level of intensity? And their, their shooting's got to drop off a little bit at some point. Let's go to Courtney. She just checked in in the huddle. Courtney? So Coach Moore was obviously not happy with the way his team just played. He was saying, look, we talked about it in practice all week. They can shoot, so don't let them have wide open shots, and you all need to get the ball down the floor. Well, yeah. good point. Fearing's going to shoot. Yeah. Little just can't miss. They are 11 of 15 from the floor, 7 out of 9 from three-point land. It's 29 to 8. You always wonder how your seniors are going to react on senior night. I don't think Jeff Walls has to be concerned any longer. This one off the mark. And Evans looking up court to Durr. Now Shook. Outside to Asia. Starts to work to the right side. Little fall away. And it dances in. Oh, my goodness, Asia. Buy a lottery ticket tonight, young lady. <laughs> there is just not much more you can do to defend that. Great job by Durr to create some space and create her own shot. Eight out of eight on their last shots from the floor. There's one. Big basket there by Kayla Jones, the sophomore out of Jamestown. And I bet Coach Moore and his staff was thinking, he's encouraging him. It's like, wow, we took a big punch. Well, Kayla Jones is a player for NC State who has really stepped up with the injuries of late. And she scored 14 points in each of the last two games for the Wolf Pack. Well, Asia shows she's human as hit off the side of the iron. But the team still 12 out of 17. Six of those made free uh, three pointers out of nine tries. Shook goes in, had the rebound, lost it. And Carter picks it up on the dribble. Fearing tries to back her way in. Now Durr for three. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. 22 points, six out of eight on threes. All you can say is, wow. <laughs> All-star, All-American performance for sure. No question about that. And there's a steal by Evans. Dana takes it all the way, puts it in. What an incredible job by Evans to even keep that ball in play, much less Go in for the score. The Louisville Cardinals are playing with incredible intensity, focus, and execution this evening. 36 points in the first quarter with 17 seconds remaining. This is an incredible quarter. If this was a fight, you would stop it here in the first quarter, that's for sure. Well, there are, isn't a team in the country that's going to be able to defeat the Cardinals playing like this. Good steal by Koning. Takes it all the way and lays it in. And that ends the first quarter. And boy, what a quarter it was for the Cardinals. All you can say is A.D., A.D., A.D.
To say it was all a dream was truly an understatement. Congratulations, Asia Boo. We're proud of you. Love your siblings. Go Cards. Hey, Asia, we love you. We love you. Congratulations on four years of a success. Congratulations, my big girl, but the work is not completed. 8025, Queen Night Night. You know how much I love you. I am so proud to be your mom. Asia amazing you. Go Cards. Boy, I tell you what, how proud could a family be about a player? And how about a family be looking at this senior night for Asia? Unbelievable. She just had a, a, a game in the first quarter. <laughs> to, to say she's on fire is an understatement. That was fun to watch. She, she gets a well-deserved rest. Well, I think she started with determination and it's one of the best quarters you're going to see in college basketball this year. I guarantee at any level. It couldn't happen for a nicer young lady or a harder working yep. basketball player. Leslie can't get one from the above the free throw line and Louisville's not giving up second chance points either. Jeff Walls kept saying yesterday, the team who makes the least mistakes will win the game. He emphasized that over and over. Shooting doesn't hurt either. Furing tried to go get her own miss, and now NC State is going to bring it up across the line. And that is Fur Furing's first miss shot. She yep. was three for three in the first quarter. NC State will not quit. Oh, this is a team absolutely. that is battle tested. Especially when they can go inside with a player that has good movement around the lane. That's Kunane, but pretty good defense by Louisville. Dunham really has played well defensively for Louisville. Evans. They want to get it to Dunham if possible. Now Jones takes it. A little 13-footer comes up woefully short off the left. And NC State sees that the Cardinals will actually newt human. <laughs> a minute and a half here into the second quarter. Steal but there the, by Dana Evans. She got fouled too. Great Didn't body ball it. control. She got a pretty good hip check. But that just shows you how strong she has learned to take the ball to the basket. She has certainly elevated her game, playing with so much more confidence this season as a sophomore. Wasn't bad last year as a freshman, right. but he's taking it to another, another level this year. There's a three ball out of the corner. Kayla Jones, the sophomore, really has stepped in in a big time way due to all those injuries for NC State. There's a good look at Jones, averages just under five a game. Jones had six points in tonight's contest already. Yep. Great feed down to Dunham with the left hand short. Solid rebound by Kunane. Better get out and extend on the D. Jeff Walls takes a quick timeout. Nobody came out that time to get on Crutchfield. And a timeout by Louisville. It's been all Cardinals here in the first half.
say to your mom and your sister, I just want to say I'm so very proud of you and I love you. Dream big, go hard, and remember that you're destined for great things. Hey, Erica, Granny is so proud of you. Granny's just happy that she taught you some moves. <laughs> your clips, baby girl. Dylan calls you a superstar, and I am simply in awe. Your journey is no accident. Only the strong thrive. You are a god for and Continue to shine. And you know, we've talked about Erica before. She sat out last year as a red shirt. That's never easy. One of the things I think Jeff's really gonna like when he sees this statistics, on 10 assists on 15 field goals, only one turnover. Now the second quarter has not been effective for either team thus far, but look what Asia, she is shoot, shooting eight for 11. NC State is a team seven of 19. <laughs> that is just incredible. <laughs> Stats don't always tell the story, but a lot of times they do. They do tonight, that is <laughs> Absolutely. for sure. We've kind of settled into a different pace here in this quarter. Jones trying to change that. Can't get the three to go. And NC State 24 and three on the season. And if people forget, they won their first 21 games. They were the last team to lose. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bianca Dunham. And Kiara Leslie getting into it a little bit underneath the basket. This has been an intense ball game. And you see here Dunham playing defense, giving a little bit of a look. And uh, Leslie not liking it, calling a double, double foul, double violation on those two players. Well, you can see Coach Walls over there. Tell you, Jeff, he brought up an interesting point I want to mention here while we have this moment that I think is so true. The thing he loves about coaching women's basketball, it's not like the one and done in men's basketball. You've got a four, maybe a five-year experience, and these young ladies begin as teenagers. Okay, we got a technical foul, and they still have another to review. Is that right, Sarah? Uh, personal foul, personal and foul. then uh, potential unsportsmanlike conduct on number 11, Kiera Leslie, that they're going to review. And so we saw that scuffle underneath the basket, the foul by Bianca Dunham, and then a uh, little bit of an intense look, and then we saw Leslie put the arm out onto Dunham. So the officials are going to go to the monitor and evaluate. And the fans are going to help them a little bit. But just to finish that story up quickly, having a four to five years, he said, they come in as, as, as young girls and they leave as young women. And the things that he's able to do with those players, he said he wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Well, it is a very special relationship. And having the opportunity to spend four and five years with these young ladies um, and see the growth that they go through. And um, these women are going to have some, some pretty amazing careers. Many of them will continue to play basketball professionally uh, in the WNBA, internationally. Uh, and, and then at some point, the basketball will end. But I know that they will continue to be successful in their chosen fields. Here, take a look at it one more time. We saw something similar to this the other night a little bit, just a little bumping by, I guess, but there's a little talk. Well, it, it is so intense out here. There's so much on the line. These two teams, number three, Louisville, number 10, NC State, playing for ACC championship, have national championship hopes and dreams, and uh, you bring it all up to the court. Well, both. So they're going to call the double unsportsmanlike conduct um, on Bianca Dunham and Kiara Leslie. There was a little bit of contact by both players, and you saw some looks and words exchanged. So, you know, I'm sure one of the things that Jeff Walls is talking about is, hey, you've got to bring emotion to the court, but keep emotions in check. And we've got uh, the officials talking to both coaches now. 
a little different reaction from the two two coaches, but I don't think Wes Moore had as good a look at what was going on from that end of the court as maybe Coach Walls did. Well, one thing the players said yesterday too, that they all agreed on, they said, we always know Coach Walls has our back. <laughs> Absolutely, he brings as much intensity or more as these players do. And as a head coach, you always want to see, you know, your personality reflected by your players. And I think that's certainly true for the Cardinals. That's a new term, equal gravity fouls. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I guess because it happened in, in play, I guess is what they're saying. Kind of uh, equals itself out, negates things. So ball goes back into action with NC State Wolfpack. And they're going to get a basket and a chance at a three-point play. And Kanane getting fouled up, though. Well, you talk about a pretty good, talented freshman here. She feels pretty comfortable around the basket, doesn't she? Well, she is seventh in the ACC in field goal percentage, so she does not miss often, shooting 57% from the field. Scored with contact that time. Yeah, and she started now the last five games after not starting in the first 23, so that's a pretty big step to move into. It's a 16-point game now after it's all settled down, and NC State has its first run in the game at 9-0 over the last minute and change. And that's the challenge for the Cardinals, is they came out so hot in the first quarter, they've got to maintain that intensity. We've seen a little bit of a drop-off. They're gonna have to find a way to, to recharge. Yeah, because NC State's not gonna shoot poorly the entire game. And a great job by Furing. And Wes Moore is not the least bit pleased about that one. And that's three on her. That's the main reason. And I think he maybe got teed up. I think he might have been looking for that one. Here it is, the sequence. And Wes. Well, and you saw there, Leslie put that arm yep. out. Sam Furing did a great job. She was in position. Fell to the ground, just like you coach your players to, to, to draw the charge. Now they're trying to get West back to the bench so he doesn't get a second one, which would take him to the locker room. And Asia Durr is going to shoot the free throw. And he makes it. And again, it's, this is time and distance, I guess. You can argue that, but she looks to be in position, didn't she? Yeah, and I think Wes Moore felt like she was a little out of position right. from his angle. Um, from our angle, it looks like Fearing did a nice job of moving her feet. She certainly sold it by, by going to the ground when Leslie put that arm out. Bottom line is, if you're the ball handler, you cannot use that arm bar and raise it. When, as soon as you start to raise that arm, the officials see that they're going to call a foul. And you know that's not going to be a no call so quickly after the little scuffle I guess we had. That's gonna be a foul against Carter. She stripped it away from Kunain, but Erica is gonna get ticketed with a personal foul. You can see the smile on her face. Yeah, and what you've gotta realize as a player is in, in a double foul situation like that, emotions get flared. The officials are probably gonna call things a little tighter for a while to make sure that the game doesn't get out of control. Yep. Nice split out of the double team on the pass that time by Koenig. And there's another example. That's two fouls now on Carter, but that's just what happens. That's just the way it is. You have to adapt to it. Exactly, you have to adjust. We see Robinson is gonna check into the ball game. Robinson missed the Boston College matchup due to a concussion. Good to see her back in the Cardinal lineup. Yeah, it is. Of course, you got that protocol, but she's been able to practice, and she's really contributed in a lot of ways to freshmen out of Ashland, Kentucky. She plays with a lot of confidence. She's not a player that's gonna look for her own shot much. She's out there to rebound and play defense primarily, but will shoot when she's open. Well, I tell you, 
Denane's going to be a great player in the future. She's a really fine-looking freshman in a tough situation like this because NC State either needs to win a game or have Florida State lose a game to get in that all-important top four. Which gets the double by. Evans can't get it to go. And Coney comes out of there. You see the field goal shooting this quarter much different than the initial 10 minutes of play. Good double team outside. Another good split by yep. Coney. Double Great block ball. that time, Durer and Kylie Shook both got a piece of this one from Crutchfield. Watch, that's a double dip. Nice job, help side defense by Shook. And you're right, Asia Durer also blocked it from behind. Smartly allowed the defensive help of Shook to be there instead of trying to uh, adjust and pick up the foul herself. And Louisville's going to get Lindsey Duvall in here now as she'll replace Robinson. See the Cardinals making some defensive adjustments as the ball goes off of Kunane. And it's going to be Louisville basketball. I think she may be a sophomore by the end of the night. <laughs> she certainly is. Uh, it's a pressure situation for a freshman, isn't it? Learning, going to have to learn quickly. <laughs> Um, looks like we get a little boxing chaser here. Look. Doesn't matter though, because Dana Evans says, you're not chasing me. Well, that's what Wes Moore talked about in shooting practice today, was that as talented as Asia Durr is, you cannot just concentrate on her. There are so many weapons offensively for the Cardinals. It's got to be team effort defensively. I'm sorry. Here's a three ball, a little bit too strong by Rodgers. Going to mention that Asia Durr has 24 points. She had a great first quarter if you joined us a little late and has missed some shots to prove that she's human. <laughs> and Durr has contributed three rebounds already in this ball game, too. Evans will trigger it in. Throws it outside to Shook, but quickly inside to Fearing. And Sam's going to get the foul by. Just making some contact when one of the Wolfpack players stopped, but that's the way it's going to be, at least till halftime, I guarantee you. Yeah, as we, we mentioned, got some pretty good explanations, though, from the officials. Appreciate the officials coming over really? and it, helping us out by explaining what's going on on the floor so we can pass that information along to you. We feel a little bit too strong by Rogers. She shoots 63% at the strike. Well, she's a senior, and she's trying to make the most of it. She had a double-double at Syracuse. Missed there, and Fearing has the rebound for the Louisville. Dee Dee Rogers, the sister of Rodrika Rogers, a star for yeah. Georgia Tech, That's daughter right. of Rodney Rogers. Played at Wake Forest and had a long NBA career. Well, he did. Fearing with the head fake. Great pass over, and the assist is the ball. Gets the basket. Great assist that time by Sam. Sam is such a strong passer. 12 assists on 17 field goals. Jeff will like that at halftime. He absolutely will. He wants that ball moved with as few dribbles as possible. And you see the difference between the two. Crutchfield in the lane took a tough shot against the tall timber, but able to get a basket to go to make it 45-26 here in the second. And Don, we talk a lot about Asia Durr's offense, but they are a better defensive team when she's in the lineup. Oh, yeah. The intensity level just raises a notch when she's in the game. Shook tries the three that doesn't go. Rebound to Kamene. And now Crutchfield brings it up on the wing for the Wolfpack. Rule rank number three, national NC State, number 10. Good feet inside, and it rolls around and stays in for Koenig. Nice Koenig, a junior, was the two guard, the shooting guard for the Wolfpack her first two seasons. But with the loss in the preseason of Kyla Ely, 
she's had to move to the point guard position and has done an outstanding job for NC State in that role. Well, what a difference in the pace here in the second quarter. It was a rapid pace with Louisville hitting almost every shot. It's been different here in the second quarter as Evans misses there. NC State take a, takes a lot of pride in their defense. Yep, and well, they should. That's a tough shot. And Durr runs out with it. Going to take it the distance and had it stolen away, but Evans picks it up. And Duvall got the bounce. She used every bit of the rim, but got that to go. Lindsay Duvall shooting 44% from three-point range. It's her 21st three-pointer of the season in limited minutes. And that brings the crowd to the feet here at the Yum Center. And we're looking for more. I've been so impressed with how the Cardinals have improved their rebounding. Evans missed it, got her own miss, and dribbles it through. And now it's going to, after getting a fresh 30, set up a new O. We talked about Dana Evans coming off the bench for the Cardinals. Gives them a spark, gives them that energy that you need. A tremendous player who's a candidate for the ACC Sixth Player of the Year. Asia now has 26 here in the first half. And time and time again, we have seen the All-American Asia Durr raise her level of play against ranked opponents. Tonight is no exception. Yeah. All-time list number two in scoring, number two in three-point field goals made, broken away on the block by Evans, lead pass up the door, and she scores! Well, that is why the Cardinals are so dangerous in transition. If you're NC State, you have got to get back. Great pass up the floor by Dana Evans and finish. The foul there by NC State will put Asia Durr on the free throw line. You think those fans are happy here, and boy, what a show. The senior out of Douglasville, Georgia. Asia Durr with 28 points on 10 of 15, 6 of 9 from the three-point line, four <laughs> rebounds, two assists. And yes, she has matched NC State in points alone. That's a pretty good first half for the All-American. That's a great game for most people. <laughs> she's done it in the first half. Yeah, she's a special player. People don't realize what they're going to miss, and that's going to be a backcourt violation. Jeff Walls is geeked about his defense. You can see on his face. Well, this is the best Cardinal defensive team I've seen in quite some time. And Louisville's made only two turnovers in the first half. And that has been a hallmark of the Cardinal team this year. Ball value, ball protection, very few turnovers. Jasmine Jones back in the lineup. Louisville keeps that offense moving. Evans has the opening. Tried to draw the foul, but a rebound by Furin. But Sam's got a bunch of brothers, and that's what you do. If you don't want it, I'll take it. Great tenacity by Sam Furin. What a half for Louisville. They're on their feet here in the um. Just a tremendous performance on both ends of the court by the Cardinals. And we're going to stand by. Coach Walls is still talking to Dana Evans. He hasn't turned it off yet. I think he's forgotten to uh, stop with Courtney. He's coaching all okay, the way. Okay, let's go to Courtney with Jeff now. So, Coach Walls, your team has scored over 50 points in the first half. What do you like about your offense? Well, we're getting the ball moving. I mean, at the end, end of that first quarter, I think we had 16 made field goals and 10 assists. We're passing the ball really well, and, but when we get stagnant, it gets ugly. But the one thing I can tell you about NC State, it's going to be another 20 minutes where if we don't come out with focus in this third quarter, it, it's going to be ugly because they can go on a run quick. Yara Leslie, she's a big-time player. She's a pro. There's no question about it. And she's going to come out with a passion. They've got D.D. Rogers who was sitting on the bench with two fouls. So now they're coming back with their group. We've got to get ours relaxed, but we've got to keep pushing it and playing hard. 
Well, it's senior night, and you said on the radio that you were going to pay for anybody who hadn't had a ticket already to fill up this stadium. What can you say about the seniors? Well, I mean, our, our seniors are doing a great job here tonight. Uh, you know, the great thing about us is, you know, ho hopefully we're fortunate that we're not going to have to have this be our last game. We'll sit here and be able to come back for the NSA tournament. So I told them to enjoy it, celebrate it, and have fun, but we still got 20 minutes left. Well, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks, Coach, and thanks, Courtney. I think Jeff's a little excited. I don't know. <laughs> it's been all Cardinals, and particularly Asia Durr, 28 first half points. We're going down the court with our three seniors. The first step is Erica Carter. So Erica, you've completely grown as a player. Your freshman year, you started out as 0-4 for the, from the three-point line. And then as a senior, you're leading the team statistically in three-point shooting. What can you say about your growth? Um, it took a lot. You know, I put in work in the gym every, every day, every chance I could get every summer so that I got better because that was very embarrassing, <laughs> you know, going in my freshman year with no threes. So, you know, I just put in work to make sure that never happened again. Next up is Sam Fury. So Sam, similarly, you've completely changed as a player. You went from 
playing limited minutes your freshman year to now you're on the Lisa Leslie watch list. What can you say about your change throughout the years? Uh, I think it was just trust in the process and trust in the coaching. Um, I mean, it's been one hell of a ride and I'm so glad that I stuck to it all these years and hopefully I go somewhere with it. And next, last but not least, is Asia Durr. So Asia, you are an All-American. You've done great throughout your years. What's next for you? Finishing strong. I want to win a championship with my teammates, so that's the goal. Um, and then hopefully when that takes place, I'll focus on life after college ball. And question for all of you, what are some of your favorite memories from the Yum Center? The Yum Center, um, I would probably say the Tennessee game. That game was just amazing. It was loud in here. And, you know, just our fans, they're the greatest. I would say the signs that the fans make. They make all these crazy uh, signs that are so cool. I definitely would say the Notre Dame game, by far. Well, you're watching Down the Court with Courtney Walton, Sam Fearing, Asia Durr, and Erica Carter. AC is definitely one of those young, young women who's worked to get to where she is. Erica Carter has a fun story. When we uh, started recruiting her, we left the gym and, and she called us and she said, Coach, I want to play for you. And Coach was so impressed. She's a go-getter. She's not going to let something set her back from her goals and she's going to shoot for the highest. One of the fiercest, fiercest competitors you'll ever be around. She doesn't get too high or too low, she's just steady. And that's, that's an attribute I think that's been uh, tremendous for our team this season. When players are down and you know, we're trying to help out as assistants, I'm like, okay, have you talked to anybody? And every single kid on our team always mentions AC, and that'll never show up on a box score, but everybody who's a part of this program knows how much value she brings to us, and we're gonna miss her dearly. Asia Durr came in with a lot of uh, expectations. She had to have uh, surgery before the start of her freshman year. People started to wonder, hey, is this kid really as good as she is? But we, we knew it because we were able to watch her continue to, to, to put the work in, to get healthy, to get back. I tell everybody all the time, she could be the nicest superstar I've ever encountered. I'm gonna miss that smile, miss that uh, uh, ability to score. A better human being than she is a ball player, and she's the best I've ever seen. Whether she has a good game or bad game, she's always there for the fans and the kids, and I can't think of a better ambassador for our program moving forward than Asia Durr. There's no question that she's gonna be a great basketball player in, at the next level. Number one player coming out of high school, could have went anywhere in the country, chose Louisville, kept us on the map, raised the bar, and now has unfinished business as we try to win this national championship this year. Sam Furing. When I think about Sam Furing, I first think about New Jersey and tough, okay? If I need somebody to get my back and I have to call somebody, I'm calling Sam Furing. She's tough and she refuses to quit on anything. Her competitiveness, without a doubt, will be missed. And I know our crowd will greatly miss her enthusiasm and her love for the game. First and foremost, a perfectionist one of the brightest minds to ever play the game. She's made me a better coach. She's going to have your back. She's going to have her teammates back. She's going to have her coaches back. And uh, you're not going to break Sam. Seeing what she's developed into is, is just amazing from watching the progress from her freshman year to her senior year. She's a fighter. That's really what I think when I someone says her name. Fifteen universities, 1,500 miles, and excellence everywhere you look.
15 teams, all bringing their A game to Greensboro in March. And with them, they will bring moments of excitement, passion, pride, moments that create memories, and moments that crown a champion. Bring your A game, Greensboro, because you know they will. The 2019 ACC Women's Basketball Tournament at the Greensboro Coliseum, March 6th through 10th. Get your tickets now. Fifty three twenty eight Louisville leading NC State as we're just about ready for the beginning of the third quarter. But what a first half it was for Louisville along with Sarah White. I'm Don Russell. We're going to go through some stats and highlights. But boy off their rip roaring start and it was impossible for NC State to make up especially the great three point shooting by the cards. Well they were on fire from long range and Asia Durr had a career night in the first half. We see NC State also having success from beyond the arc as Kayla Jones connected on a couple. Nice dish outside to Dana Evans as she gets in on the action. And Lindsey Duvall also hitting from long range. And it was all about DeAsia Durr in that first half. 22 points like in the first court. 
I've seen a few. I thought she was going to break Shoni Schimmel's three-point career record for the Cardinals in a single game, and she still might. We're underway here in the third, and speaking of the aforementioned Asia Durr, she's going to start the third Asia. quarter the way she started the ball game. Give her 30 points for the Cardinals to lead all scores. And that's one of the things you've got to love about Asia Durr is against the best competition, she brings her best game. And she has definitely given the fans their money's worth tonight. Yes, she's been intense on both ends of the floor, too, like you mentioned, Sarah. Look at her on the defensive end. Tough shot, good defense. That time by Dunham. Very few second chance opportunities for NC State. And Bianca Dunham just couldn't get it to go. Another transition opportunity for the Cardinals. But you know, that's what Jeff Walls wants his team to run the floor like that, doesn't he? His number one scoring opportunity offense is transition. Yep. If you can score a layup in transition, do that. Only then set up and run your sets. Koenig is down to five seconds on the shot clock. Leslie lets it go straight away and hits the three ball. Leslie averages 16 points and 7.4 rebounds. And she has eight today in terms of points and two boards. Leslie in foul trouble there in the yep. first half. That's right. Lead pass down low to Dunham. How much has Louisville improved that passing down on the post? So much this year. They're an excellent passing team, and we see the first half stats, and it's not NC State versus Louisville, it's NC State versus Dewar. Yeah, Very impressive. <laughs> yep, when you can outscore your opponent by yourself, that's a pretty good sign. Great graphic. Terrific job by Jeremy Noe and the crew in the truck. Glad you joined us here in the KFC Yum Center. That number 10, NC State against number three, Louisville. Or as the graphic showed against Asia Dirk. Right. <laughs> Take your choice. Make Asia. no mistake. It's a group effort, but Asia Dirk continues to be on fire. The deep three from the corner. And that's where, when you're Westmore, you start to challenge your players. You know, who wants to guard her? Who's going who's gonna to stop her? Who's going to slow her down? Because there really is no stopping her. Well, all I can say is you better save a little room on Sports Center for this performance by Asia Durr tonight. Good feed inside, that's gonna be a foul. That was a good double team, but I think Sam made a made a little bit too much contact. We see the great dish out and Durr, Durr finishing from the corner. And for those of you who may be wondering, she's actually not anywhere close with 33 points to her career high because last season she scored 47 in overtime against Ohio State. <laughs> Kanane hits the free throw. She's in double figures now with 10. She's the only player for NC State in twin digits. This is her 17th game this season as a freshman you in can double figures. She's got a big upside, though, doesn't she? Oh, you she's going to be. She's already a talented player, yep. but she's just going to continue to grow and be a star in this ACC. Fearing takes it from the baseline and knocks it home. <laughs> Sam now with 12 in the game. She's hit five out of six from the floor. Little sure. shooting almost 60%. It's unbelievable. And that's the second baseline jump shot by Furing. Durr nearly had another steal. Good recovery by Crutchfield, but she can't get the three to go. And Durr comes up with an our knees off the Furing. How about it, Asia? Can you finish? Yes, oh, my goodness, AD. You are something else to watch, my friend. As her eighth three-pointer of the evening. 36 for Asia Durr. And after coming up with that steal and, and making the pass from her knees, she deserved to hit that shot. This place is buzzing. Despite the fact Louisville's Asia Durr has scored more than NC State by herself with 36 points. Well, there's a lot of ball game left to play. 
AJ a little offline on that one. But there is not much you can do if you're NC State because Louisville is playing at an entire different level this that, evening. That's where they want to go, and that's going to be a foul on Jones. She thought she played good defense. Think about it, Sarah. She's hit eight out of 12 from three-point land. Yeah, she has won away from tying the school record for threes in a game. She did it at Ohio State in that 47-point performance, and Shoni Schimmel hit nine against Memphis back in January of 2014. Good free throw there by the freshman from Somerville, North Carolina. She wants to be a vet after she graduates. For all you pet lovers. Thirty-six points in twenty-two minutes. Mm. Plus four rebounds and two assists and a partridge in a pear tree <laughs> for her tonight. <laughs> you name it. Oh, she lost possession of that one. Is trying to get a pass to the the middle for one of her teammates. Good defense by NC State and a great dribble drive by Leslie. She just wasn't able to get it to go down. Look at Jones taking it close to the Jasmine said, hey, give me a little bit of this action. That shows her versatility. Well, she, she is a play. tremendous she, athlete. She is. 67 to 35, Cardinals. And did a great job, did Jones, of going away from the defense to lay it in on the right-hand side of the rim. Carter takes it down the right side, straight away to Furing. Now Durr will take it. A little up and under with the left hand, tried to draw the foul, didn't get any of it. And Crutchfield will bring it up on the right for the Wolfpack. Nice defense again by NC State. Nowhere for Durr to go that time. Inside out game. That's off the lip of the rim from Leslie. And Dunham gets it up the door. And now Jeff Walls wants to slow it down a little bit. With four minutes to go in the third. I think everybody needs a breath. <laughs> this has been a fun game so far. Great pace to it. Talking to some of the fans behind us, and they were really almost exhausted. Durr again! Oh, oh, AD, you are something else. As the Cardinals have doubled up the Wolfpack, 70 to 35. What a tremendous performance by Asia during the Cardinals, 70 35 as we go to break.
Welcome back, and I guess this is the perfect time to talk about Charlie Cream's bracketology for the ACC. And Louisville certainly make a case for Stain as a number one seed, too. No question, and Notre Dame has moved into the possible number one seed spot. You see uh, an array of ACC teams projected in the top 10 seeding for the NCAA tournament. Right now, NC State positioned as a two seed. Louisville Cardinals looking like an overall one seed this evening, although Baylor, a unanimous number one in the poll, would have an argument against that. But Louisville with a 35-point lead with 3.51 to go in the third quarter. And some full court pressure. Louisville pretty much assured of hosting in the first and second round, so. That's why Jeff said this is not the final home game. Let's celebrate and concentrate, and I think they have. Well, that has been his message to the team. Yep. Senior night can be so emotional. I see a miss by Leslie, but uh, mm. Kanane in there. Offensive rebound and putback. She has had a tremendous evening. The nine threes by Asia Dewar ties the record for threes in a game. Three twelve remaining here in the third. Sam comes a little, up, a little bit short on her three. Fearing has 12 points and nine rebounds. She's just a rebound shy of a double-double. And there's another steal by Evans over to Asia. Asia has 41 points. What a great play by Dana Evans. Looked like there was some contact on that play. No call. Asia Durr able to finish around the rim. And this crowd is buzzing. That's a good shot straight away by Koenig. She's a good three-point shooter. She just has needed to do too many other things tonight against this Cardinal pressure. She's had to carry a lot defensively. Point guard for NC State. Has been looking to distribute first, score second. Backdoor cut, not not able to be successful. And Crutchfield had it blocked out of bounds by Durr. And Asia was apologizing for the pass at the other end. <laughs> and the block from behind, great mm. timing by Durr.
Well, we've got a game going here at the KFC Yum Center in Louisville, number three, 72 to 40 over NC State. Along with Sarah White and Courtney Walton, I'm Don Russell. I'd like to remind you that the ACC Network is upcoming this fall, coming in August of 2019. Of course, it'll be the best coverage you've ever seen of the ACC. And all you have to do is go to acc.com to sign up. But it's the ACC Network coming August 219. Be on board the ACC and ESPN. Boy, what a night it's been here for college basketball in the ACC. Louisville and NC State as the Wolfpack gets a basket here after the timeout. Kanane with another basket in the paint. She has been impressive this evening. 15 points now for the freshman post player. Ten seconds on the shot lock clock. Good cross-court pass, it's down to five. Shook, backs it up for a three, came up short. And a flat-footed rebound that time by Crutchfield for NC State. Jasmine Jones! Long. Jasmine Jones, oh. Tried to save it in. I think she was trying to decide whether she should lay it in or dunk it and mishandled the dribble. <laughs> but what an explosive play. Great steal. Goes with a full head of steam and just takes her eye off the ball for the moment, for a moment. <laughs> she was hacked, too. <laughs> a lot it over. of effort there. Yeah, we I saw Asia Durr come over and calm her down a little bit. Rogers going to take it from one end to the other, and it rolls out. But she'll go to the line. You know, we've been talking about the Louisville great shooting, but their defense has held NC State to 35-9 overall, 38-5 on three-pointers. And these are two of the best offensive and defensive teams in the ACC. Yeah, it's been <laughs> incredible. They've forced NC State into 12 turnovers. Meanwhile, the Cardinals with just five. Let's check in with Courtney. Some more on Asia. It's been a big night for Courtney. To say it's been a big night for her is an understatement. Yeah. She, it, she has 41 points, and her career high was against Ohio State last year where she scored 47. So she's only six points away from that, and the way it's going right now, it looks like she'll hit that, I'd say, within two minutes of the fourth quarter. Good report, Courtney, and what a perfect way for one of the seniors, all the seniors. There's Dana. <laughs> Dana has proved that shot so much. And I tell you what, it's just been contagious in the Cardinal offense tonight from the perimeter shooting. No question. Dana Evans, 43% three-point shooter this season. And a great steal knocked out of bounds by Jazz Jones. You can see Westmore say, slow down a little bit. And Jazz says, yeah. She loves that, too. She plays that D. She is an intense player. Great block from behind. And now somebody was hanging on, probably a Louisville player. By the way, NC State will host Miami on Sunday. Louisville goes to Pitt. So that'll end the official regular season in the tournament. Of course, in Greensboro. Tough game for the Wolfpack to end the regular season. No and then teams will be gearing up for ACC tournament. Nothing better than tournament time. Another good move, but the left-hander this time by Kanane falls off the rim. They've had some good looks about around the basket tonight as we wind down the final seconds of the third. Evans looking for a pick, puts it up, can't get it, and that'll end the third quarter. Been all Cardinals on offense and defense. Been a big night for the seniors.
you see the score by quarters as you break that down. And uh, pretty good start for Louisville in that first quarter. And then it was all uphill for NC State. 36 points, 22 of them in the first quarter by Asia Durr. And we've got the Asia Durr by quarter, 22, 6, and 13. How about the ESP and W? A lot of things. Really a surprise on the first one there. Yeah, no details have been released, but the ACC, Georgia Tech, Michelle Joseph placed on lead. We talked earlier about Baylor being the unanimous number one in the NCAA women's basketball. And uh, according to Charlie Cream's Bracketology, there are six teams with a chance to be the top seed, the number one seed in the NCAA tournament. A lot of basketball to be played between now and NCAA tournament time, though. And you can check that all out on ESPNW for the latest news around the women's athletic scene. Great move inside by Dee Dee Rogers, drawing the foul. That's four fouls on Dunham now. Jess Walls has to make a decision here. What he wants to do. Rogers has really increased her productivity from last year to this. A senior for this Wolfpack team increased her minutes by more than double the points and rebounds. How about Carter for three, in and out. Dunham went after the rebound with authority. And tell you what, that's the kind of effort you need if you want to get back to a Final Four. No question. And we have not mentioned Erica Carter much this evening, but we haven't had to. There have been so many other players playing, scoring so much. Carter, such a steady player for the Cardinals, though, does all the little things. Dana Evans hits another three. Now she hit on the right, now she hits on the left side. That's one of the things you often notice players have their favorite spots. Mm -hmm. With Evans, she shoots that three and makes it from anywhere. By the way, Rogers picked up her third foul for NC State. And now we have a whistle underneath the basket, and it's going to be a two-shot foul for the Wolfpack. You know, I want to tell you a little story. I was here just watching a couple of weeks ago, and the cheerleaders decided to get some new disc. You know, the cheer with, so I was sitting down in the end zone, and. They would put them up, and I looked to the fans behind me, and I said, is that an obstruction for you? And they looked at me, and five ladies, they said, honey, we're just glad to be here. <laughs> That's when you know you've come a long way. I was going to go to bed for them. <laughs> Isn't that great? And just as serious as they could be. They didn't care if they could see the game. They were just happy right. to be in the arena. That's right. Leslie buries this free throw. And Louisville quickly up court for Asia Durr. And that one came up woefully short, but Asia busting to get back on defense. And Asia is not the type of player who's going to be focused on her own personal stats. She wants to win championships, but I can guarantee her teammates are going to try to get her that school record 10th three-pointer this evening. Yep, almost got that one knocked away. It's going to... Stay with the Wolfpack with eight on the shot clock. Well, when you score 41 points in 29 minutes, I think Jeff Walls will take that production pretty much any time. It has been a special performance this evening for a very special young lady. Yeah. And just great to be talent. here. I, we can talk like the fans did. It's That's a tough fall to away. Here. Yep. And out of bounds to Louisville. But I love that. You know, the game. Is a, is a large margin difference, but both teams continue to play hard, scrap after loose balls. That's what you want to see. Well, that's going to be some ACC tournament, I tell you. Even if you're not one of those top four, you get the double bye, anybody you play is going to be pretty tough. If you can get to Greensboro. Oh, oh, I would highly recommend it. It is going to be some tremendous basketball. As Dana Evans. Gets Louisville to 80 with another bucket. Now she has 15 points. What a tremendous evening she's had. If she's not the sixth player of the year in the ACC. There never has been one. That's Certainly a tough shot vote. there. Almost went in. Number 
One of the things that Jeff Walls will expect from this Cardinal team is that they will keep up their defensive intensity. You know, isn't it funny where teams get on a roll and things happen and seem to fall in place? That's what's happened with this Louisville team this year. And you can say whatever you want. It still goes back to the, the tone set by Jeff Walls and his staff. Absolutely, and these players in practice have a high level of intensity. They do, and Evans, Dunham tried to tip it in. You know, actually, it's been a pretty well-played game as far as any malarkey after they settled it down. Pretty good job by the officials. There's a word I don't hear very often. <laughs> malarkey, I like it. Yeah. Will fall up, bounces around a couple of times by Jones, doesn't go. It's just been a really tough shooting night. Only 31% from the floor for NC State, and that's not anything close. Matter of fact, these teams almost mirror each other statistically. Evans goes in to get the missed, and here she comes. Asia again. Yeah! That's the record for threes in a game by a Louisville Cardinal as Asia Durr has hit 10 of 15. And there's another good one at the other end by Jones. If you're wondering, the ACC record by for threes is 10. And Stephanie Watts of UNC, it's Charleston Southern. So Asia Durr's name will also go on that line. Yep. ACC record for points is 50, set by Andrea Stinson of NC State. Yep. I'm happy to see that it was against Providence, <laughs> December 3rd, 89, and not against Wake Forest. There you that go. <laughs> Stinson was a heck of a player. Spoken like a true demon deacon. <laughs> Under six minutes to go in this one, it's been all Cardinals on a electrifying night from Asia Dur that has 42 points. Make it five. She's done this in regulation. She ties her own career record with 47 tonight. And there's a basket by Kiara Leslie. Great move in the paint, in traffic, with a little bit of contact by Leslie. So Asia now has a chance to go for the ACC women's scoring record, which stands at 50 points. Asia, a little bit too tall. Everybody is on the edge of the seats. Asia got that, has, still has that smile on her face. <laughs> Fans behind us say, let's go, 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 go. There's plenty of time left to get this. And Durr has tied her own school record with the 47 points. And at this point, they're not playing for the outcome. They're playing for records for Durr. Here's Asia with it, trying to work, goes dribble drives and couldn't get it to go. And that's gonna be a foul, I think. Gonna be on Dunham, yep, and that's gonna be her fifth. It's been all Asia do a career high time, 47 points for the senior.
Don't forget stream live sports and award-winning ESPN originals at home or on the go with ESPN+. Plus. Start your free trial today. Visit watch.espnplus.com. I signed up for the free week yesterday and a lot of neat stuff on it. And you want to be on board for that. They have the UFC on it. Let's go to Courtney Walton, our star today. What a better way to end your home career than Asia Durr right now. She has 47 points, which ties her career high. One more basket and she beats it, but she's also beaten the ACC career, her career high and ACC's for threes made. Well, she's done a great job and you could tell from the get go and couldn't happen to a better person too. You know, she, when we walked in, I walked in, the lights weren't all on. About 4.30, I wanted to beat the rain. She was the only one in here shooting. She's always the first one she in the gym, usually the last one to leave. Hardworking young lady. And it's been a special night for her. And a turnover. Checking into the game for the first time is Katie Wadsworth. She's a 5'6 junior out of Raleigh, North Carolina, hometown gal. They're trying to do a little run and jump on her now. 10 to shoot. Pull up and Carter got the roll. Carter's first points of the evening. Yep. She was the first to cry, though, as they predicted. <laughs> Sam wasn't long after her, though, was she? No, she was pretty emotional as well. Speaking of Sam, she's got a double-double on the evening with yep. 12 points and 11 rebounds. Outstanding game for her tonight. But it's been overshadowed by the performance by Asia Durr. 47 points, 10, re 10 three-pointers, four rebounds, and she's going to take a seat. And this crowd of 10,000 is giving her a well-deserved standing ovation. That is a special young lady. Folks watching, and Sam Fury, listen to the crowd for her. Three seniors in a well-deserved. And now Carter gets the try to go to the bench. Oh, what a special night for these young ladies. And that is always your goal as a coach, to be ahead on senior night so that your players can feel the love from the fans. Yep. And now a lot of the players that work so hard, along with Dana Evans, out there on the floor. This one from the corner, off the side by Duvall. Well, you know, that shows you the kind of class that Jeff Walls has, too. I mean, this game is over a long time ago, you know. She tied her record. That's good enough. Giving her some much deserved rest. Yep. Still, still a lot of basketball to play in this season. Sagan Robbins will go to the free throw line. One of the things that Wes Moore knew that his team needed to do, which we were not successful in, Louisville has scored 20 points off of turnovers compared to just five by the Wolf Pack. Well, those three sitting together over there, and by the way, now after this win tonight, they're only a couple of wins away from another milestone. That's to become the winningest class in four years. And there have been some tremendous wow. classes here good, at Louisville. Good baseline jumper there, buried by Jones. Sophomores played well tonight. She hadn't had a lot of help, but She's played hard. She's in double figures with 11. 17 for Leslie. Jones has scored in double figures each the last three games. There's a nice little move by Robinson. Couldn't get it to go. And here comes NC State running the break. Rebound underneath and put back in. That again is Jones. She wasn't able to hit the shot in transition, but stayed with the play for the land. Cardinals have scored 90 points. 47 of them from Asia Durr, tying her career high. Limley can't get it to go. 
Loose ball on the floor and everybody goes to get it. I mean, she hit 11 of 17 threes. Look at that. That's a pretty good picture right there. And on the far right, of course, that was Diop that they had hoped to have with the team this year. She yep. suffered a knee injury, transferred Diop, from Pitt. Yep, and she was not recognized on senior night, which would indicate that they're going to apply for a sixth year. Oh, well, look at them all standing. Robinson took that charge. Well, they work on that too. And that's one of the things that most coaches will chart. Yep. Have a goal. Two or three charges taken per game. A measure of your focus, your defensive commitment, your willingness to sacrifice the body. Yep. Robinson had that one rim out. And now NC State with a minute 20 remaining. That's a shot off the wing by Wadsworth. She's a walk on, getting a basket. We talked about and the, the injuries. And the going to take down the last minute. And uh, NC State, four knee injuries, three ACLs, three of them starters, <laughs> including the leading scorer at the time, Grace Hunter. Injured her knee against Duke. Ah, tough shot oh. by DeVall as she gets into the action. And what a lift Duvall has been for this Cardinal team lately. And she could really make a difference for them in their pursuit of a national championship. Louisville's going to go to 26 and 2, 13 and 2 in ACC play. What a performance by the Louisville Cardinals this oh. evening. It's the 10th ranked Wolf Pack as Jones continues to be a spark. She has 13, they're gonna wind it down and this crowd's gonna come to its feet. And a great, great job by the Louisville Cardinals and Wes Moore and Jeff Walls, they're buddies. And Jeff knows sometimes you can be on the other end of these. But what a night for the Louisville Cardinals. A career high time, 47 points by Asia Durr. 92 to 62 is the final. What a special performance by that young lady, Asia Durr, as that smile continues. Just an unbelievable performance on both ends of the court. What a pleasure working with you again this season, Don. Same here to Jeremy Mo and the crew. They're the ones that really deserve the appreciation. We've had the good seats to sit in, and we appreciate their work very, very much. So from my teammate Sarah White and Courtney Walton, I'm Don Russell saying so long for the KFC Yum Center in Louisville, where the final score is the Louisville Cardinals 92 and 62 for NC State. To watch this entire game on replay, as well as other games on the ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. Thanks everybody for watching. Great thanks to our crew. This has been a presentation of the ACC Network Extra.